You ever thought there is a five point turn on the test? No guys, I'm joking, it's only three. But because of the weather condition now and the snow is covering the curb and the roads are very narrow, we can do even five and not failing the test. So I'm gonna demonstrate you guys how I do it in case you're going for the test and you have the same situation, you can always try to do as a five point as long as you're not hitting the curb or you're not hitting the snow. On the test, if you're hitting anything, it's going to be under the category that you hit the object or hazard and you will fail the test. So it's better to do even more than less. Just before we getting into the video, guys, if you're new in this channel, please subscribe. And if you would like to help other people to see my video, hit that like button. I will really appreciate and thanks for your support. And now let's get into the video. As you can see here, the road are very, uh, it's covered with the snow and it's much narrower than usual. So what we have to do, I'm gonna show step-by-step step what I'm doing. As you can see, it's very, very uh, narrow. And when they clean up the snow, lots of snow still on the road. So it's more difficult than in the normal weather condition. So let me show you what I mean by five point turn. First of all, of course, I have to make sure that uh, it's all clear. No cars are coming for any di from any direction. So I'm checking the, my back. I'm making sure that all the area is completely clear. So I'm putting the signal to I'm put I put the signal to the left, and I'm going to make a first step. So when I'm turning, as you can see, there is no room, right? So I, I, if I'm gonna go a little bit more forward, I'm going to hit the snow, as you can see that, right? No cars around, and even if there is a car coming, it cannot go around you, so you can simply complete your turn. So now I put the signal to the right, look at the camera, so you can see what's going on on the sides, and now we continue to move back. So I'm going to show you how close I am to the to the snow and I don't want to hit the snow. If I go a little bit more, I'm going to just climb the snow. So now, because there's no more room and as you can see, guys, this is the position of my car. Again, I'm checking both sides. I'm putting the signal to the left and I'm moving forward. But again, there is no room. And remember guys, if you continue, you will hit the snow. And if you hit the snow, you fail the test. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna go back again. So this is going to be my fourth time. So as you can see, I'm turning to the other side and I'm going back and again, very close to the snow. But because I'm already almost turning, right? You can see that the car is almost ready to go forward with no hitting the other side. So what I'm going to do, of course, I'm going to put on drive, make sure the area is clear on both sides, no car is coming. Again, if you will be in this situation, even if the car wants to go through, there is no room to pass by. So now I'm going to pull out and as you can see, guys, there is no snow hitting and I am pulling out and I'm simply recovering and that's called five point turn. And if you on the test and this has happened to you, don't worry about it. Complete the three point turn and make sure that you're not hitting any snow. Thanks for watching, guys. If you would like to watch step by step how I do that on my Patreon, link will be down below. It will help you to pass your road test.